Hi, I'm Dustin Hansen with Graywell Entertainment. And I'm Zane with Graywell and Salt Pop. This is the Graywell Entertainment update for the release day of 10-15-2013. It's a monster. There's so much stuff. And speaking of monsters, you'll see in the Blu-rays. <sighs> <laughs> uh, there's a ton of great stuff coming out. I'm going to preface all this before I even get into it. Remember, we don't go through everything. We're going to go as fast as we can and keep these videos short. Come into the stores, talk to the employees. They'll give you the list of everything we've got. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Graywell SLC because then you can see we list all this stuff all the time. We're always putting in boys, we're always putting posts on stuff. Um, so now we can just jump right in and rip through this stuff. First thing we've got for you, um, Head and the Heart have a new album out on Sub Pop Records. The album is called Let's Be Still, uh, indie rock, sub pop. It's you know pretty and great. They were just here in Salt Lake playing a couple weeks ago. Uh, come pick it up for you. We have it on vinyl. All the stuff I show you on vinyl we have on CD as well. Uh, Fortet has a remix record coming out called Beautiful Rewind, Half Speed Mastered for LP. Actually, I don't think this is a remix. This is just a new album. So a new Fortet record or EP. There you go. That's good stuff. Good electronic, really interesting music. I like it a lot. Uh, Dismemberment Plan is back with a new album. album is called uh, Uncanny Valley. If anyone remembers the D Dismemberment Plan, you will be very excited that they're back. So there's a new album for you. Uh, the Men released an album a while back, and they gave a free uh, uh, CD bonus c CD with it, an EP called The Campfire Songs. They've now released it on vinyl. You can pick that up at any location. All the locations are getting it. It's a five-track EP, uh, a couple songs you've never heard. They were just a, like basically a giveaway EP, but now it's on vinyl. Avett Brothers are back again. This one is called... Uh, Magpie and the Dandelion um, coming off The Carpenter. This is same sessions, um, just a whole nother album they did during that time frame, produced by Rick Rubin again. Um, Americana is alive and well in the mainstream, and Abbott Brothers are carrying the flag. Well, them and the Lumineers, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Melvins have a new uh, live from Third Man Records, Jack White's record label in Nashville, Tennessee. Melvins played live. It is uh, a very cool live event um, and we have it on vinyl with, has actually artwork now the ones prior to this were always just kind of a black sleeve but now they're doing some artwork which is really cool so one side is just one track mm -hmm. and then the other side's like what four tracks four or five six six tracks yeah. so it's actually for being one of the live at third man releases it's got a lot of music on it so and the track cow is on the second uh second uh, on the b side which hasn't been released in a, forever on anything so that's really cool so come check this out um Cool soundtrack reissue, um, music and songs by Paul Giovanni. It's the Wicker Man, the original, not the Nick Cage mess. This is the original Wicker Man, so it's got incidental music, and it's got all the sum summer, si summer, summer Isle ballads and seduction, fertility, and ritual slaughter on here. So it's really, really cool. Um, Death Waltz, uh, there's a couple other labels re-releasing -re all this stuff. This one's music on vinyl. They're doing some of these soundtracks. There's a couple more coming out. We'll show you in the next couple weeks, but this is the one we just got. So Wicker Man, if you're in collecting those really cool, weird soundtracks, this one's awesome. The Colts are back. This is called Static. Their last album was a monster for them. It's on Columbia Records. Um, same sound, kind of interesting. Male, female vocals. Um, not they much else to say. They're huge on their last album. They blew up. They're on the cover of a lot of magazines, getting tons of press coverage. So they're back now. Yep. So check it out. You want to go into your stuff now, real quick? Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna start with some stuff that's not metal, and then move into some stuff that is metal, and then end with some stuff that's not metal. So and there's a lot of metal. So I'm gonna go <laughs> really fast. All right. First up, um, this is a special studio Ghibli. It's a Mondo release. Uh, Mondo's done all those cool releases that we've talked about before. There was the Raid soundtrack and some other, the, the Drive soundtrack and some other stuff. Maniac. Um, one of the ones we had recently. The Studio Ghibli. This basically is, this is selections from the soundtracks of multiple Studio Ghibli films. But what they've done is like there's different covers. There's a Spirited Away cover, a Howl's Moving Castle cover. This is the Princess Mononoke cover. And uh, this has tracks from Princess Mononoke, My Neighbor, the, the Yamadas, um, Howl's Moving Castle, The Cat Returns, um, just a bunch of different stuff. And is there a different track listing for each of the three versions of this? Like, do they have different selections? I so can't tell you. I don't know. Ba basically, if you're still a Ghibli fan, though, you should be buying this for the artwork alone. And it's in a nice, really nice uh, double, it's like a gatefold package. So... All right, next up, um, Sons of the Morning. Uh, it's called Volume 1. Well, is it Speak Soon? Speak Soon, Volume 1. Uh, Sons of the Morning is Teebs and Prefuse 73, so uh, you can expect, like, kind of avant-garde or experimental electronic music with that. So Cool. 
Monster Magnet has the new album called Last Patrol. Monster Magnet is cruising. Stoner butt rock. Stoner rock to the max, like in your muscle car, cruising through the desert. So That album is more of a, they said it's more of a return to Tab and some of their early records as opposed to, you know, uh, Power Trippin' and those other ones. Um, classic, classic metalcore album from Botch, We Are the Romans. Metalcore before metalcore was a dirty word, right? Yeah. <laughs> So this is this was like a so black, way ahead of its time. This was a record store day release. Yeah. But they did exclusive color. Now it's coming back out again on black vinyl. So it's now yeah. available again. And the album itself is like a genre-defining, highly influential classic album. So if you're into metal, you have to become acquainted with this album. I feel like um, next metal thing that's out: Red Fang, Whales and Leeches. We showed you the bootleg, the official bootleg version that came out last week. This is the official LP release. The LP, this comes in multiple versions, but basically there's the lenticular cover LP that has bonus tracks. There's the regular cover LP. Uh, this is a double LP, by the way. And then there's the regular LP version, and then there's the CD version. And a deluxe with the lenticular and, and on CD. And a deluxe with the lenticular. So there's four versions, basically a regular and a deluxe. The deluxe has two tracks, Murder, in the, Murder the Mountains and Blackwater on both the deluxes. So. Yeah, but basically uh, Red Fang is like that just sludgy southern metal, rock and roll, partying, just, it's badass. You have to listen to it if you've never checked it out before. And then speaking of things that rock and roll and kick your <laughs> ass, Doom Riders are back with the album Grand Blood on Death Wish. Um, Doom Riders is members of well, it's Kay Vinnan. It's Nate Newton from uh, Converge. Converge, That's the big key. yeah. Con members of Converge, Cave In. Um, if, you, if you're acquainted with those bands, you know that all those bands have lots of different members in common and they work with each other on different projects and this album is awesome. So if you're a fan of that, keep in line with that. And then uh, I'm going to move really fast through some more metal stuff. Um, Death Angel has a brand new album. Um, Death Angel is the, the legendary Bay Area thrash death metal band. Um, this is The Dream Calls for Blood. The bonus, or this deluxe Digipack version has a DVD that's a making of the album. Trivium has a new album called Vengeance Falls, so uh, pretty consistent output from them. This is their new album. Something else that I was really excited about is uh, Nuclear Bat Blast has reissued all of the old Meshuggah albums. Uh, they've got, basically Dustin can run through those, but they've got... Contradictions Collapse? Yeah. What's this one called? Catch 33, uh, Chaos Sphere, Obzin, uh, Nothing and uh, destroy, erase, improve. So basically all classic Meshuggah albums being re-released as deluxe, di deluxe digipacks with bonus tracks. So, And then also uh, Metal Blade had a few different releases that they've been pimping on like social networks and stuff like that. Um, Kill Division, Destructive Force, um, Rivers of Nihil, the, consciousness, or the Conscious Seed of Light, and then uh, Arab Altor, Fire Meets Ice which is actually a uh, metal blade by way of Cyclone Empire. So it's got a Viking longship on the back, so you can kind of guess what that sounds like, too. Um, and then a couple things that aren't metal, um, but we're going to throw in. Uh, Kevin Devine has two new albums out. Uh, one is uh, Bulldozer, which is just Kevin Devine on this one. And then the other one is uh, Kevin Devine and the Goddamn Band. The name of the album is Bubblegum. Um, Kevin Devine is associated with all those members that I've spoken about before, like uh, Old Brother, uh, Manchester Orchestra, brand new. Um, they all share and tour with each other, share members, collaborate together, and uh, these albums are no exception. So, uh, Bubblegum actually features Jesse Lacey from Brand New. So, Fallout Boy has a new uh, limited edition two disc album called Save Rock and Roll, the Pax Am edition. The difference between this one and the regular one is this has got the punk rock tracks, the nine or eight punk rock tracks they did with uh, Ryan Adams in Ryan Adams Studio. Um, there's a surprise coming for Black Friday involving this, but for now you can get it on CD. Uh, very cool if you're a Fallout Boy fan. Um, Willie Nelson has a new album out. Shocking. Not like he never does that. This one is a collection of duets called To All the Girls featuring Dolly Parton, The Secret Sisters, Roseanne Cash, Miranda, Lam Miranda Lambert, Carrie Underwood, Loretta Lynn, Allison Krauss, Mavis Staples, Nora Jones, Shelby Lynn, and a bunch, bunch, bunch. Oh, and Brandi Carlisle's on there too. I always like to mention her name. She's great. So. There you go, bunch of duets. Amberlynn has a special edition, Vital version two. It's 31 tracks on two discs, featuring the full original Vital recording, plus three new tracks, including City Electric. Also includes an entire album live from Williamsburg, a career-spanning live acoustic recording. So Amberlynn, that's a pretty monster release. 
Paul McCartney has a new record out called New, real creative. Uh, this is a this is the deluxe version. We have a regular version on CD as well, and the vinyl's coming. It's twelve new songs. This one has two bonus tracks. Um, Paul McCartney fans, there you go, something new. Black Milk has a new album called uh, I have no idea what this is called. No Poison, No Paradise. Uh, Black Milk. It's on Fat Beats. It's good hip hop stuff hip -hop featuring song. Black Thought. Uh, Robert Glasper and Dwell, a couple other people on here, very cool. Um, a metal release which we were sad about because we haven't got the vinyl in because it looks like it's getting pushed for a couple weeks, but for now, if you're a Pelican fan, new album, Forever Becoming, and as a bonus, if you buy this here at Greywell or any independent record store, you get a bonus live seven track uh, EP on CD from a saw or an album or a live show in Russia. Yeah, it's almost like its own separate release, but you get it for free for picking this up here. Mm -hmm. So great, heavy instrumental, uh, post metal and metal. So we we'll listened to it today, and I really, really like it. So there you go. Um, the Body, another great metal band. Uh, this album's called Christ Redeemer. Christ's Redeemers. If you don't know about The Body, look them up. They wear gunny sacks on their head. They're terrifying, and you will love it if you're a metal fan. Zane should have talked about that, but it was in the pile. So. Shauna Tucker and Eye Candy. Shauna Tucker is formerly of Drive-By Truckers. This is her solo record. Uh, well, it's her and then her band. So if you're a fan of the Truckers, you like the female vocals involved in the Drive-By Trucker stuff, this is for you. Come check it out. And uh, last, well, not last. We'll do this one first. We talked about the last couple weeks. Um, there's the Clash have reissued and remastered all of their records on CD. They had a box set that came out. Now everything's getting released on vinyl. We've got Give Them Enough Rope, Combat Rock, London Calling, the UK version of their self-titled, and Sandinista. Sandinista hasn't been out on vinyl in 15, 20 years. Um, they're all 180 gram, 100% remastered reissues. They're all very, very nicely done. They're all heavyweight, gorgeous. This is 180 gram triple LP vinyl. It weighs about a ton. So. Sandinista is that record that Clash fans, there's probably eight songs you love and 14 you could skip through and 10 you hate. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. If you're a Clash fan and you bought, you want all this stuff on vinyl, now you don't have to buy those weird imports and the hard stuff to find. Now you can actually get the remastered, cleaned up versions. It's very cool. Really nice job with all the reissues. And Pearl Jam has a new album. Their 10th album, kind of an anniversary for them. Well, 10th studio album, because they have about 400 live records. So <laughs> it's called Lightning Bolt. Uh, it has a lot of Iggy and the Stooges sound to it. It's really fast, heavy at times. Um, Love them or hate them, Pearl Jam's got a new album. And the vinyl will be here a little bit late, but we'll also have that available. Should be, you know, 17th, 18th at the latest when it shows up. They're old, but you can't knock them for not having any energy or yeah. enthusiasm um, because it's well, still... Early reviews and stuff of this record are they're really revitalized. Their last album, Backspacer, was quite good. And this one is um, getting the same kind of feel, really, really positive reviews. So, Pearl Jam. And then we'll just hop into some quick movies. Our, one of our favorite movies of the summer, Pacific Rim. On Blu-ray, Blu-ray 3D, and DVD, we have it at all locations. Uh, if you don't know about this movie, do yourself a favor, take it home and watch it, because it's a blast. It's all your childhood yeah. Power Rangers Robots and, and Kaiju. And Just Godzilla and all that stuff rolled into one. Mm -hmm. You'll be a kid again. You'll be cheering and having tons of fun watching it. And it's got it. Ron Perlman, Idris Elba, my hero man crush, and then Charlie, Charlie Hunman. Day. And Charlie Day's in it, too. He's really funny. Yeah, and Charlie Hunman from uh, Jax from Sons, Sons of Anarchy. Of Anarchy. Uh, the Heat is out. Uh, Sandra Bullock and Melissa McCarthy, done by the guys who did Bridesmaids. Apparently, it's very, very funny. I still haven't seen it, but Zane said it was really hilarious. I was skeptical. I went and saw it in theaters and actually was really surprised by how funny it was. I really enjoyed it. The Maniac uh, remake starring Elijah Wood as a creep. Um, very, very good, actually. Saw this, enjoyed it. It's dark and scary and gross and really, really cool. So uh, come pick that slasher up. Slasher film from the slasher's perspective. <laughs> yeah. Vikings. Um, what channel is this on? This is on the History Channel. History this channel. was the uh, the drama series. It wasn't a documentary. It was an actual uh, drama series. Based about, on real history. About Vikings. Um, it was really dark, really gritty, super violent, and uh, was actually pretty well reviewed. I think people really yeah. enjoyed it. It's been actually, picked up so. for a second season. I think they're filming now. Um, this is season one, nine episodes, Blu-ray, DVD. And then a couple uh, reissues from... The studio has been doing these 80s best of the decade, 70s best of the decades. We got two coming out that are actually two of my favorite comedies ever. For the 80s, they've got Weird Science, John Hughes classic. Um, Kelly LeBrock is gorgeous and one of Robert Downey Jr.'s first movies. If you don't know Weird Science, buy it. Just buy it. It's fantastic. And then probably one of the best sports movies ever made, uh, Slapshot starring Paul Newman. Hockey fans rejoice. Blu-ray version of Slapshot finally exists. Um, 
that's really it for everything we've got. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll let Zane tie it up. <laughs> yeah, so just remember to uh, to go follow Graywell and all the social networks at Graywell SLC, facebook.com slash Graywell. And uh, remember to go to saltpop.net for all the salt pop updates, all of the uh, video streams, updates, reviews, these videos, all of it. And don't be a dick, shop local.